He's giving Y2K vibes today. Take a few questions on my journal. Lesson learned, I'm not gonna put yourself on top all the time. It's kind of selfish at times. Hi guys, good morning. Um, it's Wednesday today, so I got all ready and I'm going out to meet my sister. Uh, we're gonna go out for brunch. I haven't met her since so long. I'm gonna meet her at station and we're gonna go. Guys, my outfit is giving Y2K vibes today. It's like low ride jeans, tank top, <laughs> and like all these jewelries. I still can't find my bracelet that I wear every day. I was all soaked up it started raining out of nowhere and i hate thunderstorms like i hate like i'm actually scared of thunders like getting gurung I, I just don't like it like i was screaming in the station i'm just chilling i'm eating this chocolate this seashell design chocolate i love it hello hold on i need my blanket got this blanket i'm in my pjs and i have my water let's put it here i did some takeaway like fried rice and some chicken and i'm having it this is my lunch i'm so lazy to cook well i don't know what to cook but it's actually good mm. cool, cool. I'm just gonna do some journaling. Always like to do um, end of the year journal. Every year, like end of December, I like to just write whatever happened in this year. Like, normally I write a whole page or two about everything I want to write. I also have like few journal prompts. I have like certain questions to ask myself and I just like answer it. I picked few questions on my journal, but I'm gonna read all of the things I have wrote throughout this year one day maybe like in a couple of days just chilling when I have nothing to do I'm just gonna read all my breakdowns and all all the stuff that I went through like I'm not gonna show you guys my you know vision board obviously because it's my goals and stuff like you're not supposed to show your goals and all to people like not even close ones like I don't show my vision board um to anyone so like put uh, my vision board um i don't actually print it out and like you know paste it on my wall or something i uh, make my vision board on my ipad and i <laughs> i put it um to my wallpaper and few people saw that i was like shit so i had to remove the wallpaper lesson learned i'm not gonna put my you know the vision or like my goals as a wallpaper i think like your goal should be just with you now i'm gonna tell you guys what question i wrote the first question is what am i most proud of this year and um next one is my favorite moments throughout the whole year and like i feel happiness when so i continue like i feel i felt happiness when um, i went there i did this so the next question is what is one lesson i am taking with me from this year like that can be anything like a good one or a bad one mm, and which of your goals did you complete this year and like slash like which of the goals you didn't complete this year we ha all have like habit of um saying like oh we didn't even do nothing this year i didn't even do nothing this year like 
I I was saying this like a couple days ago as well, but then I realized I did so much, like so much. I was independent for the whole freaking year. Like I was paying my own bills. I was going to work. I was studying. I got like good grades on my study as well. Like I think I got um D on two, like distinction on like two of my units this um trimester. Emotionally, like I picked myself when I was in the bad space. Like I had so much, but we all have like this habit of saying like, oh, we didn't even do nothing. Like, oh shit, like this whole year is ending. I didn't even do anything. Maybe I didn't got my driver's license, but I did a lot of stuff. Ending this year in a good note. I have learned so much things in this year, but like I think main thing I learned this year would be um, having the boundaries. Like I'm such a people pleaser. Like I love pleasing people. Okay, like I have this problem. I would think of others' happiness first rather than thinking of mine, which I did work in this year. I used to think that you know self love when you love yourself and you just like put yourself on top all the time it's kind of selfish at times but no it's not it's not like people can call me selfish but if i love myself then okay you 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 don't call me selfish let them let them call you whatever they can that's the one thing i've realized like you should love yourself um put yourself on the top have boundaries which i did lack on i think i did like pretty good this year maintaining my boundaries and like not people pleasing and all that so I've learned so much this year. I've grown so much, especially mentally, I think. And yeah, let's just stop uh, saying like we haven't done anything this year. We have done so much. I'm like proud of myself. I hope you're proud of yourself too. Just give yourself a break. Take your time. Think about the things you have done this whole year and just give the credit like you deserve it. Okay, I'm getting out of track, but whatever I said is very important. So be proud of yourself and yeah, give that credit to yourself. The last question is what I want to leave behind, like all the things, all the negativity, whatever that bothered me this year. So that's all I'm gonna write. And yeah, I'm gonna do this. And maybe I'm roughly gonna make my vision board, not like fully because I still have to think about all the goals that I want to you know, achieve or like do or like even try. You know trying is all we can do i'm gonna write this while i have my lunch and also how cute is this pjs i got it from kmart it was 22 dollars, so cheap like it's so soft like so soft okay i'm gonna have this and write it i think i'm starting to feel slightly Having some strawberries and this 
green juice um i think it has like apple celery kale and all that tastes good though next year i'm gonna try my best to eat like the whole balanced meal but anyways we went to like park to do yoga it was so fun i went with my friend and um we did some yoga we went to a cafe afterward i had some matcha and now i'm just gonna chit chat with you guys for a bit and just end this um video right here it's gonna be the last video of 2023 just wanted to thank you guys for sticking with me throughout the whole year i know in middle i stopped filming videos for like a couple of months and then i came back again i've been trying to be consistent ever since but yeah i'm, I'm trying I'm not really feeling well today so i can't really put my energy out there but I'm super grateful for you guys and I love I love it here. This is my safe space. I've told like hundred of times. So yeah. 2023 was your best year and like 2024 is gonna be your best year. Let's all do our best in 2024. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in 2024.